Dear friends in Christ, welcome to our daily reflection for the 22nd of August and Tuesday of the 20th week in the ordinary time. It is also the memorial of Our Lady, Mother, and Queen. On this eighth day after the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we celebrate Mary as Queen of Heaven and Mother of Peace. On every last Sunday of the liturgical year, we celebrate Jesus as the King of the Universe. Mary is therefore our Queen, as the one who bore the Prince of Peace and the King of the Universe, of whose reign there will be no end. We greet her under this title each time we recite the Salve Regina, Hail Holy Queen, and we immediately add Mother of Mercy. Our life and our sweetness and our hope and then conclude the prayer by asking her to show us the blessed fruit of her womb at the end of our lives. Our first reading today comes from the book of Judges, chapter 6, verses 11 to 24. It's about the call and mission of Gideon. This was at a time of great uncertainty and threats from the enemies. The greeting of the angel startled him. The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Gideon, however, questioned how they can be going through their present condition if God were with them. It was a sound of despair from the young man who felt God had cast off his people. But the angel said to him, Go in this might of yours and deliver Israel from the hand of Midian, do not I send you? We might ask the same question as it pertains to our nation and our world today. Where is God in the midst of the chaos we see all around us? Has God abandoned us to ourselves? We can, however, take consolation from the response of the angel if each and every one of us can turn our questions and our anger into positive actions, we can save the nation and the world. Since we are tired of the violence, let us work for peace. Since we are tired of poverty, let us work to provide for each other. Since we are tired of the hunger, feed your neighbor. Go in the strength that you have now, determined to save the nation just by doing what is possible for you. In the visitation of the angel to Mary at the Annunciation of the Incarnation, the angel greeted, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. She will work in the strength of that grace of God for the salvation of all, beginning from her role as mother of the Lord and mother of us all. In today's gospel, taken from Matthew chapter 19, verses 23 to 30, which we can divide into two parts. We have a discussion between Jesus and the apostles in the aftermath of the young man who went away sorrowful in yesterday's passage. For Jesus, it will be hard for those who do not know how to manage earthly wealth to enter eternal life as hard as a camel going through the eye of a needle. But when Peter asked about the disciples who have left everything to follow him, Jesus assured him of a hundredfold of what they have given up and on that eternal life. What about you? Word for today. Open your Bible to the book of Judges, chapter 6, verse 14. And it says, Go in this might of yours, and deliver Israel from the hand of Midian. Do not I send you? Let us pray. Lord, teach me to love you above all things. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.